Are you looking for a power supply that's got no gimmicks, it's quiet, stable, and for system builders, well, this could be the power supply for you. On the front of the box, it says essential, which basically means this is their everyday run of the mill power supply, not one of their high end ones, but saying that, be quiet, it's essential power supplies. Some of them are actually better than other manufacturers' high end power supplies, obviously depending on the actual power supply itself. It's an 80 plus bronze, which means it's fairly efficient, power wise that is. It's the System Power 10, proven reliability, quiet operation, and this is the 650 watt version, but they do have other versions available. On the back of the box, it says System Power 10, developed in Germany. It tells you about Be Quiet. It's multilingual. It's got a QR code on there as well, so you can scan and have a look at the website. It tells you some of the specifications. Now, one thing it doesn't mention anywhere on the box is what cables are included in here. Hence, how many SATA connections you've got on there or how many PCIe connections for your graphics cards and so forth. It doesn't mention that on the box anywhere. So inside the box, you've got the power supply itself, which came in bubble wrap. As you can see, this is not a modular power supply, but a brief looking, it is flat black cabling, which means it's going to be really good for cable management. It does come with a power supply cable. Obviously, that will differ depending on the location you're in as well as four black screws to screw it in. You've also got the manual there as well. As you can see, it is double-sided, quite big, multilingual, and it does also give you the measurements and all the information about what cables come in there. Shame that's not on the box, unfortunately. So let's go over the cable and bear in mind different power supply models. So the 650 watt will be different than a 450 and an 850 and so forth. We'll give you the full listing on the manufacturer's website of what cables there are depending on the wattage you go for but this will give you a rough idea so you've got your 20 24 pin cable here the actual cable is roughly 55 centimeters long this one has got a mesh on it rather it being rather than it being flat black but it is black all the way to the end so no multicolored cables or anything like that so that'll look pretty good inside a case you've also got your sata cables on here, on this case, you've got, on this power supply, you've got a total of five SATA connections. On the end of one of the SATA leads, it does have a Molex connection or hard disk drive connection, as they call it. So the cable lengths on these is 550 millimeters or 55 centimeters long to the first connection. And then between each connection, you are looking around about 15 centimeters. You've also got your VGA connection or PCI Express. There's two of these on inside this one. The length of these is 50 centimeters. And again, it's a six plus two, so eight pin connection if you combine them. So again, there's two of those inside this power supply, which is good. Otherwise, that's pretty much it, apart from your standard eight pin connection. Uh, let's have a look, where are we? which goes in the for the CPU. You've got one of those, which is only a four pin connection. And then you've got one which is two fours, which makes an eight. So if you have got a motherboard, what requires two eight pin connections, you cannot do that. Bear in mind, a lot of motherboards which do have two eight pin connections will still run on a single eight or a eight plus a four. But if you're overclocking, it may not allow it. Now, some things to bear in mind, the wattage, what wattage will you need for your power supply for the for basically the machine? It really depends on what's in your machine. And no doubt I'll get a million questions asking, will this work with this and so forth. But if you go on the manufacturer's website, so Be Quiet's website, uh, there is a calculator on there where you can put in which processor you got, which graphics card you got and memory and so forth. And it'll tell you what wattage power supply they recommend you go for. So if it says you need a 600, then well, obviously a 650 should be fine. But we always say go about 20% higher than what the manufacturer states for all the components inside. So if your total system build is 600 watts, we'd say go for at least a 750, usually around 20% higher than what you've got. The reason being, it gives you more room to add more stuff in the future, as well as slight power spikes, which can happen, especially if you're overclocking. But one thing what a lot of places don't realize or don't tell you about is the efficiency of power supplies does drop over time like a lot of components. So while it's 650 watts today, you might find the efficiency 
in probably three or four years time might only be 600 watts or 550 so if that drops below what your machine requires then the power supply could potentially fail to start up or your machine will crash or worst case scenario the power supply will blow okay as you can see we've got the power supply set up here it's connected up to our test rig we're running a i5 12th gen processor a 3060 GeForce graphics card, it's got 16 gig of RAM and a few other bits and bobs on there. We're testing it using Eurosoft PC check. We're doing a 48 hour stress test, which will basically up the wattage on different parts as it's doing the test. So it basically gives the power supply a good full testing for 48 hours with the wattage going up and down depending on the tests and obviously the things it's testing and then it uses obviously the different cables for different amount of power and so forth. Basics is this is stress testing it to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Now obviously if anything does go wrong we'll let you know at the end of the test. Bear in mind what I've said before this power supply will give you 650 watts of power. It's designed for system builders so that means mainly for people who build computers not really a gaming power supply as such. You could use it for gaming, don't get me wrong, a power supply is a power supply. But again, just make sure your system you're building is up to 650 watts. And to be honest, I usually say give a 20% leeway, so I wouldn't really use anything probably over 550 watts with this power supply. And again, that's at peak. On average, when you're using a PC, it's not likely to ever get to that peak unless you're really hammering it. And when it does, it's usually not doing that for long. Now, one thing to mention is I think the power supply is around about 93% efficient. Bear in mind, efficiency is one of those things if it's working at a certain percentage. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what percentage of usage the power supply needs to be at for it to work at that efficiency. So that might be when it's on idle, standby, working at 100%, working at 80% load. It's hard to say. There is no, nothing on the manufacturer's website I can see about performance for the wattage or efficiency for the wattage, unfortunately. So again, always take efficiency ratings with a pinch of salt because it could be an efficiency of when it's only been used at a certain wattage, which you may never use it at that wattage. So it may not be that efficient. And again, it's really hard to know about that unless the manufacturers put those charts on the website. But otherwise, we've had no issues with it. Obviously, if it fails us tests or anything like that, we'll let you know before the end of the video. But otherwise, we highly recommend this power supply for any system builders, any standard machines, even gaming machines up to mid-range. As I said, it's capable of doing this 3060 graphics card and a mid-range i5 processor. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.